Do you like action films? How about great storytelling? Do you want adventure? Maybe a crime boss chronicle of some sort? Well, you get all of that and a whole lot more in the 2021 hit film, Pushpa, The Rise. That's right, it's time for another film review. Here we go. Part 1, or The Rise, is another wonderful Telugu language film coming from India. The uh, film features an incredible actor, his name is Alu Arjun, and he is great in the lead role of Pushpa. This film spends the balance of its near 179 minute runtime, yep, it's pretty long, uh, just outlining this character just beautifully and kind of giving you a view of what, what and who Pushpa is in the world and what the world actually is around him, which is really important when you're trying to tell a good story. Well, we enter the world to learn that the most desired wood in the world is red sandalwood, and it comes from only one place, a protected forest that prohibits any harvesting of that lumber. Through a short series of events, we find that Pushpa has fallen into a leadership with uh, the labor level group of smugglers. That's right, the people who actually go and harvest the trees. We're also introduced to the first real adversary, the law enforcement official that is in charge of the reserve, DSP Govind Appa. I think I said that right, Govind Appa. That's right. During a series of successive conflicts uh, and the outwitting, of course, of the DSP, Pushpa rises through the ranks of the syndicate, because I think that's what we're calling it, and uh, inevitably, uh, during the, uh, the course of the story, also falls in love, or finds himself falling in love with a girl. And uh, that particular young lady won't even bother to give him the time of day, much less even acknowledge his existence. It's kind of funny. It is also an element of the story that I think is its weakest point, um, at least as far as some introductory stuff goes. It's very juvenile to me, but that actual relationship will pay off much later in the first film. And uh, I'm here to enjoy that kind of a relationship in the film. So they did a good job. Pushpa also enjoys the company of a sidekick or something similar to that in uh, Kisava, right? Or Kesava. And uh, it is it, basically that, that sidekick that looks up to him and kind of supports every whim that he has. And of course, the rise to, uh, well, a higher position of leadership in the syndicate. And in order to avoid spoilers at this point, I will say that um, all that I have described here so far is really just a prelude. It's just the beginning. And again, this film is very long. It's the one negative thing that any critic had to say about the film uh, in India and around the world. Um, but honestly, I disagree. I think it's a, I think it's a blessing. Uh, the negotiation, the intrigue, the disappointment, the deceit, uh, all of the things that you want, all the elements of a quality crime drama are actually here, combined with, well, an action adventure of epic portion. And again, this is only film one, The Rise. Now, of course, with any of these types of films, you're going to have a culminating event, something that essentially defines the character and uh, leaves you right where you should be in this particular instance, where any mob type film should end up, at least if it's going to be a franchise. You are now waiting for this sequel because of the ending. And it's going to be good. So that sequel I keep mentioning, well, it's called The Rule, and uh, it's already in production right now. It just started this month, it's probably a month in at this point. So the performances overall in this film, as we dive into that aspect of the review, um, just kind of 
it's amazing. I, I again, I, the more films I see coming out of India, the more I realize that every single performance, for the most part, in these good films are top notch. Um, obviously, the lead Alu uh, or Alu uh, Arjun uh, delivers a character that would and very could exist in the modern world right now. I mean, this is the person you can identify with, believe it or not. Uh, Rashminka uh, Mandana uh, is a very con convincing uh, future mob mole as a uh, Srivali, and uh, not to mention a very attractive young lady. She does a great job in her role. All of the other supporting performances um, are all spot on, and uh, at uh, many times they display the same depth uh, as lead characters uh, in many other films. In fact, more depth at times than even you'll find lead actors trying to achieve on regular films, even in Hollywood. Uh, much of this comes with um, the writing, from the writing, actually, uh, which co coincidentally is uh, put together by the director himself, uh, Sukumar. And uh, let me tell you, <laughs> well done. Uh, basically delivering what I would call a well-paced action drama with all of the comedic and musical elements that are synonymous with uh, Tollywood uh, films right now. At least the ones I've seen, uh, or the, well, that would have been released in the last few years. The action choreography is uh, tip-top, and the cinematography can be absolutely breathtaking. In fact, at times I'm like, I can't believe this exists in the real world. <laughs> At the time of this production, when this film was being made, there were concerns over the ballooning costs. And uh, that was kind of all laid to rest by the fact that uh, this was a very profitable performance indeed. It earned a uh, $46 million in US dollars uh, performance at the box office. And of course, now that film is being distributed by Amazon and other streaming locations. And obviously they're paying a fee to do that. It was also the highest grossing film uh, in India for 2021. Incidentally, the uh, sequel film that's being put together right now has an even bigger budget than the previous film, quite substantially larger budget, and uh, it's looking to do far more money at the box office next time around. I'm actually looking forward to this sequel uh, just as much as I would be almost anything else. It's due out in uh, 2023, so hey, we could have something amazing to watch at the end of next year. So now on to the review scoring. Um, once again, this film earns very high marks indeed, uh, scoring four out of five stars. There was a little room for improvement here, but overall, it was an excellent film uh, that you can watch many, many times over without getting bored, right? Because that, that's something that seems to happen with content versus entertainment. All of the performances in the film were uh, just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm very much looking forward to see all of these actors and other performances and productions in the future, I really am. This journey into all of these films from India has uh, been just uh, a blessing for me, and so I thank you. Great entertainment still exists in this world, even though, um, well, it seemed like it was very hard to find. Maybe not as much, not so difficult to find now. Um, there are uh, also some wonderful publications that I've stumbled across that uh, kind of track all of this stuff. So now I feel like I'm seeing a different world, which is good. Not to mention the, uh, the fact that there are some, uh, wow, incredible recommendations in my, in my comment section. You guys are just killing the sheer number of films that I can go and watch and review or it, that's, it's, it's staggering. So uh, I will certainly continue uh, with my weekly reviews uh, for, uh, well, weeks and months to come, for sure. Uh, next up, um, I'm going to be looking at a horror film, I think, possibly, uh, that was produced in India. So, hey, that should be fun. I haven't seen one of those before. Uh, but uh, look, for now, I just want to say thank you for checking out this review of Pushpa The Rise. I would recommend seeing it. It's one of those times where uh, I would put up the Boats Culture Records if I could. And uh, also, be sure to find my other cinema reviews here, uh, most recently, every single Thursday, and of course, all of the, the ones that'll be coming up as well. Uh, in closing, I wanna encourage you to support other independent creators out there because they are working very hard for you. And they're doing the very same thing I'm doing, bringing you a completely different perspective than the mainstream 
corporate content creators that, uh, well, essentially are favored by all of the streaming platforms and, of course, any other form of media. So it is imperative that you leave some suggestions or some comments in the comments section. Also, if you could, wouldn't mind, if you don't, please uh, hit the thumbs up button, the like button. That really does help. And of course, you know, share the content around. If you are appreciating the content I'm putting together, like these good reviews, feel free to share them out on your socials. It really does help with growth. We've just crossed 4,000 sub uh, subscribers, on the channel, which is uh, an impressive number. And again, it's all courtesy of you. So thank you. And with that, I'll do the same thing that I always do. Be sure to take care of yourself. Take care of others. Wash your hands, of course, because it's good hygiene. And until next time, bye. Thanks for visiting today. Be sure you're subscribed and hit that for alerts. Yay! Of course, like and share all of the videos that you can as it helps with the algorithm. Have a great day.